guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642 and today I bring you a video of this 2007 Nissan Murano SL. As you can see this one is finished off in a brilliant silver metallic exterior. On the side you do get your body colored mirrors as well as chrome door handles and very very nice tinted windows on the rear. This one also does have factory roof rails up top, fuel cap on this side. Along the rear you can see your dual exhaust down below and a nice chrome uh, trim piece on the trunk. You can see your SL and all-wheel drive badge, as well as your intelligent key entry right there for the trunk. On this side, this one is riding on Bridgestone Dweller tires. They are P235 65 R18s, so you do have 18-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. And you can see on this side, the tinted windows and chrome door handles, everything does follow through. Up front, this vehicle does have projector headlights and fog lights down below with a very nice chrome grille, Nissan logo in the center. This is a very, very nice example of one of these Muranos. So we'll go ahead, step inside, start this one up. It does come with your Nissan Intelligent Key Entry System. As you can see, you do have your lock, unlock, and panic down below. But coming up to the door, you do have this button on the door. Just have the key fob with you. Press once to unlock and press again to lock. Step inside. This one does have the charcoal black leather interior, which as you can see is in great shape. So we'll start it up. All you have to do, step inside, put your foot on the brake, and go right here to start. And just like that, it starts up great. We'll go ahead and close the door. Now that light you see blinking just came on this morning when I got in it. That's just the tire pressure monitoring light. It just needs air in the tires. There really is nothing wrong with this vehicle. But inside, as you can see, this one does have a leather wrap steering wheel right here. Audio system controls, cruise controls on the side with nice and tight hydraulic power steering. On the door, everything up top is nice soft touch material. Nice padded armrest down below, as well as both of your automatic front windows, power windows, power locks, all of that on the door. Power windows are down in the center. Storage down below on here, which does expand out. Over here, do have some headlight controls. Fuse panel down there. Turn the headlights on from right here. They are automatic. And you do have your gauge dimmer on the side. You can see your very nice and unique orange gauges in the center. And down below, this one does have 174,000 miles but it runs great and is in great shape. Down below too, you do have the uh, manual release to tilt the steering wheel right there. Just bring it up or down. Along the center of the vehicle though, everything fits together very nice inside. It's a pretty high quality interior. You have a nice view over the dash too. You have your two speakers built into the dashboard for your Bose audio system. And then in the center, everything does come up on the screen. You can bring it up right there. Climate controls down below. You have your uh, enter to go through different settings, back, day, night mode, settings, maintenance, uh, your trip computer, all of that up there, which you can bring up, fuel economy, things like that, distance to empty, very nice and simple to use. Down here is your Bose audio system with your six disc CD changer up top, cassette player right there, and everything else down below, nice and easy to use radio presets, dual zone automatic climate control below all of that. Again, nice and simple to use, different zones for the driver and passenger. You can sync it or just have it independent and all your controls up there. More storage back behind this panel. Power mirror controls, your all-wheel drive lock right here, and heated seat controls for the driver and passenger. This one is equipped with the continuously variable or CVT transmission with sport mode. Putting it into reverse, it is equipped with a rear backup camera with trajectory lines. Down here, you do have two storage compartments next to the shifter. And back behind that, I do have two cup holders. Up here, you have a nice stitch padded leather armrest with storage inside of there as well. It does lift up on each side. And you also can move it forwards and back, just like that. And then access inside of it right there. Do have another power outlet in there as well. Up top, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror with garage link built right into it and a compass up in the corner. Sunroof controls right there and interior lighting controls in the center. Visors with built-in vanity mirrors, they are illuminated. 
you can bring them to the side and extend as well. Overall, it's a very nice clean interior. This one's in great shape. The seats are very nice and overstuffed, comfortable, typical Nissan seats with the nice leather on them. And overall, like I said, it's a pretty high quality interior. It's a comfortable place to be and the visibility is great. Do have power seat memory on the door. We'll go ahead, unlock all the doors, put the driver's side window down, and release the hood right there. The back seat of this vehicle. As you can see, all the material qualities on the door do follow through. Do get your Murano door sills down below. And the back seat does fold flat. Just pull right here. And as you can see, it will come forward and fold flat. These will meet up as well. And you do get a uh, nice flat loading floor for the trunk. Go ahead, step in. And just like up front, they're the same nice, very, very comfortable, overstuffed leather seats. You can see down below, too, in this vehicle, you do have a flat loading floor in the rear seat. So, I mean, even me being 6'2", I can sit in the middle. My legs have a place to go. It's actually pretty comfortable, and I have plenty of headroom. But back over here, all the material qualities on the door do follow through. You do have a padded armrest, your uh, window controls, pockets on the backs of each uh, seat, as well as air vents built in right here. This one does have an armrest in the center, too, and your handles on each side, as well as interior lighting right there, too. So, we'll go ahead and step around to the trunk on this one. And opening up the trunk, just go ahead and pop it right here. Inside of here, as you can see, you have a nice amount of space in the rear of the Murano. You can drop the back seat on each side, just pull these releases. You do have a uh, power outlet in the trunk as well. And down below all of that, you do have some more storage, spare tire, everything else. Go ahead and show you the back seat from this side. And up front, you do have intelligent key entry on the passenger door as well. Full power passenger seat. And inside of here, as you can see, this one does include the original owner's manual and all of that. The pocket on this door does extend as well. Up front, up underneath the hood of this Murano. This one is equipped with Nissan's VQ35, 3.5 liter V6 engine. Running nice and smooth, and this engine produces some very nice power, as well as has a very unique sound to it. Go ahead, bring this back down. Step inside and cut this one off. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. You can hear that very unique sound these engines make. So we'll go ahead. Make sure you remove the key fob and cut the vehicle off right there. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.